The bane of many a precision rifle match shooter is what's known as the boat simulator, which is really a plywood platform suspended by chains from a steel frame. Shooters typically do poorly with the boat until everything clicks for them, and then it stops being such a score sucker. The challenge is not to stop the boat from moving, because your recoil will not let that happen. The challenge is to get the boat moving in a straight line instead of a figure eight, so you have more time with your reticle passing straight through the target. That requires you to reduce the forces you transfer to the platform that make it sway side to side, and then all that's left is timing your shot to the up and down motion of the target in your scope. This was my time for everything to click, and I wanted to share the advice I got that day to make it happen. I'm sure there are other ways to crack this nut, but this is what I did that worked out really well. First, I got on from the back of the boat and not the side. That right there gets the platform moving front to back more so than side to side. Then I place my body on one half of the platform. This keeps two of the chains much tighter than they'd be if you were in the center, and without proving the physics of it, it clearly reduces the side-to-side -side sway of the platform. Be sure not to rest your leg on the chain because that could earn you a DQ. Here's where having a Wilson Combat Gas Gun really helps. Once I pull the trigger, the recoil sets up a front to back swing that's easy to time. If I had to run a bolt, that could disrupt the recoil's smooth swing and impart some side to side swing as well. So if you're running a bolt gun, practice running the bolt with as little movement as possible, knowing that on a stage like this, you have 90 seconds to get six targets. Even the stage winner took 60 seconds to clean all of the targets, so obviously the adage slow is smooth and smooth is fast applies here. The final trick I was taught this day was to keep my body still and move the rifle in front of me as I went from target to target. As soon as I could no longer pan to a target, I picked up my rifle and put it in line with the next target. This seems like a no-brainer for a stage like this, but most of the shooters I watched shifted their bodies behind their bipod, and this definitely gets the platform swinging left to right. Notice that I missed quite a bit, but I still played 11th out of 99 on this stage nonetheless. Competitions like this don't require you to be perfect, just smooth and fast. Huh? It's 308. Oh, I didn't get a bolt cap. Sorry. It's 308. Nice. 82.20. Please. Oh my god. Alright, let me look at that roll. That's not good. What's your name? Cameron Mark. Rattler's in the hole. Rattler's in the deep hole. Good job. I think that's the best thing I'm going to do all day right there. Yeah. Wow. It pays to listen to the people who know what they're doing. <laughs>